Hello baseball fans, Chris Terrell here with RotorPros.com to bring my daily fantasy KBO cheat sheet tutorial video. Before we get into the video, I'll tell you a little bit about RotorPros. If you're not a member yet, you can go to RotorPros.com. Click on that sign up button in the top right hand corner. It's going to take you to our sign up page. We have three options for you once you get there. It's going to weekly, monthly, or yearly subscription. And with each of those subscriptions, you're going to get a free trial. Three day trial with the weekly and a seven day trial with the monthly and yearly. That's going to give you access um, into our Slack chat where we have dedicated channels for each and every room, uh, especially the KBO talk. We have the cheat sheet as well, gives you access to that and gives you access to myself, Dane, and Kenny who are in there to help you at any time of the day. So get over to rotorpros.com, sign up today. With that, let's jump in and talk some Korean baseball. Welcome back baseball fans, let's dig into the Daily Fantasy KBO cheat sheet. Today's cheat sheet uh, in this video is going to be for the Saturday, May 23rd slate, but it will carry over to other slates obviously each and every day. Um, we're going to start on the pitchers tab here. So each day I have this updated with the, the I have it sorted into matchups. So not necessarily by price, but I have it sorted into matchups. So we have uh, each pitcher um, for each of the five matchups each night, along with their pitching hand, DraftKings, um, the team they play for with the abbreviation. That's kind of just helps me get all the stats in there and sorted properly, um, depending on which one you want to go by. And then we've got that team's record, the opponent they're facing, and that opponent's record. Then we dig into the Vegas information. We've got odds to win, we've got game total, and we've got opponent implied runs. One thing throughout the sheet, uh, same with all my sheets, they're color-coded, so that stats that are good for the pitchers, obviously um, bad hitting opponents are going to be green, as you can see here, and the pitcher stats that are going to be good, like K percentage and stuff like that, that's all going to be green for pitchers that the stats are good for. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to figure out what one column or one row of stats means. Green is good, red is bad. Um, that's just for general, you know, when you're starting out. But understanding the stats, odds to win, obviously we're looking for a pitcher with high odds to win, with a low game total, meaning there's not going to be a lot of gun runs scored, uh, projected runs scored, and then the opponent implied runs just breaks that down onto a team level. We want our pitcher going up against a team that is, you know, is projected to score a few runs. So then we dig into park factor in the purple here. Um, it's going to show you what park they play in. Um, obviously both teams are going to be the same. And then I rank them according to runs per game and home runs per game. Um, so first rank is obviously going to be parks that produce a lot of runs or home runs and an eighth ninth rank is going to be parks that produce few runs um, in terms of runs per game or home runs per game so obviously the low numbers are going to be in red for pitchers when we start digging into the team stacking side of things um, the ones and the twos and stuff like that those are going to be in green because we obviously want a park that produces a lot of runs and home runs opposite for pitchers so then we've got the starting pitcher stats, uh, games, games started, innings pitched, innings pitched per game. These are stats that I use to determine, you know, is the pitcher a starting pitcher, is it a reliever, are they doing a bullpen game? For instance, we've got Day Woo Kim. Um, he's made it in six games this year so far, seven innings, zero starts, and he's only averaging 1.2 innings per game. Same with In Bok Lee. Um, so it looks like we're going to have Samsung and Latte running out some Bullpen games tonight, those aren't pitchers we're going to want to target for, for uh, DFS. So those are ones I just automatically cross off. So that's what I use those stats for. And then in terms of splitting up pitchers and deciding, you know, between one or two pitchers, I'm looking at innings pitch per game. That's going to be big for me. Um, I want pitchers that go deeper into games. Um, again, obviously going to give us more points, more chance for strikeouts, that sort of thing. So then we've got the win-loss record of that pitcher, ERA and WHIP. WHIP is walks and hits per innings pitched. So obviously for targeting pitchers, we want a low WHIP and a low ERA. When targeting against pitchers, in turn, you know, in looking at stacking um, for our offenses, we want high ERA, high WHIP, and those colors will coordinate uh, on each tab down here as well. So then we've got K per nine and K percentage. Um, the difference between the two is just that K percentage is total number of strikeouts divided by number of batters faced versus strikeouts per every nine innings pitch. Now the difference there and the reason I use K percentage is because it is very raw. It tells you how many per the percentage of batters that that pitcher strikes out versus the ones that he faces. Whereas a pitcher can go and strike out the side and get three strikeouts in one inning 
this stat here tells us yes he has some high k upside it does not tell us the rest of the story like in between there could be four hits two runs and one of them could be a home run he's still going to have the same k per nine whereas that k percentage over here is going to drop dramatically um, if it's not a one two three inning if the same strikeouts so it kind of tells a little bit more of the story with the k percentage and walk percentage versus k and walks per nine so then we've got home runs per nine. Obviously, our pitcher we want not giving up a lot of home runs going to be in green. Pitchers that give up a lot of home runs in red. And then we jump over into the other part of the formula, which is the opponent that, that pitcher is facing each night. So I've got stats here for every team. Um, so this would be for Min Kim, this top row here, row four going across. Min Kim is facing LG. So this is LG's uh, offensive stats on the season. Their average on base percentage, slugging percentage. OPS, which is on base plus slugging, runs, total runs on the season, total home runs on the season, their WOBA, which is weighted on base percentage. So the difference, the WOBA and WRC plus are two of the top stats I'm looking at, whether I am targeting pitchers or stacks when I'm looking at team statistics. On base percentage just pretty much tells us, um, you know, how often a player gets on base versus how many times he comes up to the plate. Again, like the K percentage versus K per nine doesn't give us a lot of context about what's happening versus the weighted on base percentage gives a different weight, whether it be a walk, a single, double, triple, home run. Um, so that's going to be a little bit more telltale of how good a hitter actually is. And then WRC plus is weighted runs created plus, and that just means it's park adjusted. So that's huge. Um, that takes into account your parks. So the base number for any WRC+, plus, whether you're talking player level or team level, is going to be 100. So, for instance, a team that is a 108 WRC+, plus is creating runs 8% higher than league average. Um, 131, creating runs 100, or sorry, 31% higher than league average. You look at uh, opponent, that would be SK. SK is only a team, 68 WRC+. plus. That's worse than the league tied with uh, Samsung. Um, so that tells you that they are 32% lower than league average in terms of creating runs. So that is good when we're targeting a pitcher against that team. That's why it's in green. Huge stats. Woba and WRC+, plus, way more than average on base and slugging, which don't completely tell the whole story. And then we've got K percentage, how much that team that that pitcher is facing strikes out. Green, 21.1%. That's SK. They strike out more than anyone else in the league as a team. That's going to be in green. Uh, second down here, we've got uh, Kawum, 20%. That's second in the league. Same with walk percent. So then I built a model. I just added this the other day. And it's pretty much just ranking all the stats that I feel are relevant and then putting a weight on each of those stats. And that's just going to spit out an overall ranking. Um, you can see here over on the far left and the far right. That model, if you want to play around with that model, I kind of set it for cash games. That's what I play. If you want to do GPP, what I would maybe suggest doing, you're going to have to create your own copy of the sheet first. Go to the top, find uh, where it says file right under the title of the sheet. Uh, create a copy, make your own copy, then it's going to be editable. Then you can come in and you can erase all these numbers and you can put them to whatever you want. For instance, for GPP model, I would probably... Um, Take odds maybe down a little bit, ERA, drop it off the table, whip, drop it off the table, and crank up K percentage and opponent K percentage. Like, you know, you could go like 25% on both of those. That makes up 50% of your model, and that is an upside stat. Um, if you have a pitcher that strikes out a lot of guys facing a team that strikes out a lot, that's going to be a pitcher I want in GPPs, whether he's a favorite or not. Um, underdog could be a little bit lower on that favors into a GPP strategy as well. So you can adjust this model. Um, this model will also be coming to the team stacking as well as the individual player tabs that we'll talk about here in a second. So that sums up the pitchers. Um, like I said, this changes every day. You can adjust the model on your own. All this data is loaded in here. I update the odds when I first set up the sheet. Um, I update it at about 4 p.m. Eastern in the afternoon and then once more, usually after after supper at night, uh, 9, 10 o'clock Eastern time um, to get that final odds in there. So the next tab, we'll jump over to team stacks now that we've selected our pitchers. So we've got team information here. Um, it's always going to be sorted by implied runs. Um, that's just a formula putting together odds to win with game total, figuring out what each team's projected runs are going to be. 
So today is Deuce Ann. They're right up top, 6.7 runs because they're a minus 230 favorite. Um, I'll tell you what about these links here shortly, but I'm going to go through the stats first of all. So we've got park info, just like I said on the other screen. It's going to tell you what park each team is in. It's going to tell you the rank for runs and home runs. So here we go. Kawoom is probably in the best spot in terms of park factor tonight. They're a big favorite. They're second in implied runs. They're playing in Latte's Dome, or not Dome, sorry, in Latte's Stadium, which is number one in terms of runs per game and number two in terms of home runs per game. So we've got the team stats. We've got the team record. Um, how many runs per game they're scoring in the season, doubles, triples, home runs, total extra bases, average on base, slugging, OPS, and then again with the WOBA and WRC+, Plus, which are very important to me. And then we jump into home and road splits, very self-explanatory there. And then uh, the last thing, when you slide all the way to the far right, is the opponent pitcher. So just like we have pitchers and we wanted to see um, their matchup against the opponent's team, now we're looking at our teams and we want to see um, and compare what the opponent's pitchers are. So you can see Doosan is facing uh, Samsung. Daewoo Kim's on the mound. He's a righty. He's been in there for six games. Like I said, he's, uh, he's going to be a reliever. He's probably only going to be in there for an inning, maybe two tops. Isn't good. He could get hit early it looks like it's going to be a bullpen game so that factors in there as well um but the the pitcher hand comes in because a lot of teams and we'll get into this in a bit when we look at individual players righty versus lefty matchups left or lefty versus lefty unfortunately with some of the stats that we have for the kbo we don't have that specific batter data um i'm hoping that comes down the line we'll have to wait and see um what uh, either fan graphs now that they're starting to add some kbo stats or i use one that's called stat is um, it's a korean website sells korean website and i just use google translate to get all those stats headings and stuff to get all the advanced stats that i want from their site so when i come in the first thing i'm looking at obviously is going to be odds and implied runs and i want teams that have been successful through the season like doosan as you see here they are second behind only KT in terms of WOBA, WRC+, plus, um, slugging percentage on base. So those are going to be your top two hitting teams. They're both averaging over seven runs per game right now. Uh, KT, I love that they have 60 extra base hits, kind of lead the league there. A little extra points for that in terms of DraftKings and FanDuel scoring. And then if you want to see... so. First thing I do on a daily basis, I'll come in and I will pick my pitchers like we went over and then I'll come in and I'll start looking at my teams, kind of highlight what teams I like the most. I'll usually narrow it down. I try to every single night just narrow it down to three teams that I'm going to build my core around. Um, so obviously tonight's going to be Doosan. Now to go to the individual, before we get into the individual positions, to see Doosan's projected lineup, which I update every day based on the night before's lineup, um, kind of look, you know, keep up to date with injuries and stuff. Go over, hover over whatever team it is. You're going to see this link pop up. Click that link. It's going to take you to the projected starting lineups tab right to that team. So here's Doosan. This is going to be the next tab we're going to talk about. So we've got each team's um, batting lineup here. This is all last night's batting lineup. So we've got the batting order, one through nine. We've got the DK position, which is here. And there's two for some because a lot of players have double positions. Shows you batting hand now. Something I will be adding to the sheet very shortly is just a little blurb just above all the, the teams here showing what the opponent pitcher is, his a few of his stats, and then... Um, looking at his pitching hand as well just so it's you know a little more clear so you don't got to be going back and forth between tabs once you get to a tab you can stay there and do your research so that will be coming in the future i've had some ask i haven't got that in there yet today so each team's on here we got the player um draft kings draft kings points per game that's on the season points per game and then the value and that value is just calculated by taking the points per game that that player gets divided by the salary times it by a thousand that gives you a number here if we can get two and a half usually between two and three x is going to be enough to cash like two x gives you 100 points on DraftKings. that's pretty good most days that you're going to cash and double up so that's kind of what i'm looking for obviously in gpp we're going to need a little bit higher like 150 is going to be good in gpp so we're going to be looking at three x so if a player is averaging over two between two and three and especially over three he you know he's 
going to correlate very well with being a very good player. So we can usually catch players this way. Um, you'll get a player that is maybe a high points per dollar because the price hasn't adjusted yet. Like Jose Fernandez, Jaywan Kim, uh, for Dusan, are, their prices are way up there. They're averaging high points per game, and they're still only around two just because their price are kind of at that ceiling right now versus if we scroll through here, um, yeah, for instance, very small sample size, only eight plate appearances for Beyond He Kim um, for KT, but he's averaging 7.7x value every single day because he's averaging 17 um, points per game, DK points per game, but he's only played two games and he's only 2,200. So if he was to continue on and have two or three more good games, his price is probably going to jump 3,500, 4K. But for now, he's huge value, and that's how I kind of search for some of those low-end values. Uh, DraftKings and FanDuel seem to be very slow on adjusting players' prices in this league. So then moving over in the sheet, we've got FanDuel pricing, which is a lot different, so pay attention to that. We can find some values back and forth there. FanDuel points per game. Plate appearances, and then you got your average on base percentage, slugging, WOBA, WRC+, ISO I've got in there now, which is isolated power. So for GPPs, that's something I look at. WOBA is kind of something I look at a little bit more for cash games, and then I combine it and add a little bit of ISO in terms of GPP because we, do want, we don't want players that just get walks and hit singles. We want guys getting extra base hits, home runs, driving in runs. That's what that ISO number is really looking at. So then we got doubles, triples, homers, RBIs, and stolen bases. So every day when you look at the sheet, um, usually towards nighttime when I dig in a little bit more on the pitching matchups, I'm going to highlight my top pitchers here. Uh, green's going to be core. Blue is like my secondary slash GPP. Yellow would be my value plays. Same with team stacking. Green are going to be my two, three core teams, and then I'll usually put uh, one GPP team that could be a little bit lower owned, uh, a little bit more of a sneaky play if you're playing a lot of GPPs. And then once you come on here, so if you go to my stack and see that, like again, let's go to SK. So pick, say SK is highlighted green. You want to see, okay, what batters is he like for SK? Jump on that link, click that link. It's going to take you to SK on here, and then I'm going to be highlighting players on that lineup. Green, yellow and blue, core, GPP, and value um, for those colors. And then I'm not up every single night of the week. They play five nights a week. Uh, slates are 5.30 a.m. Eastern, Tuesday through Thursday. Um, uh, usually two or three of those days I'm going to be up at that time to get you the starting lineups. And when I do, I just highlight it yellow here. Um, I'll go and I'll adjust the starting lineup to be confirmed. Once it's confirmed, I'll highlight this yellow, sometimes all three of these, just so that you can see it if you're up at that time and looking for starting lineups on the sheet. You can get them in lots of places, but if you want to get them from me and see all the stats side by side, it'll definitely show you when they're highlighted yellow that those lineups are confirmed for the night. And then you'll see these highlights of the players that I like uh, right beside it. So from there, I've also got, if you like to go through uh, individual positions and kind of break down, now I'm down to catcher, which one do I like? I've got that on here. So for the player information, I've got player name, which way he bats, the team he plays for, DraftKings, FanDuel, Vegas, Park Factor, we talked about all this already, that player's individual statistics. Um, we've got, just added this today, opponent starting pitcher, so the pitcher that he's facing, if you want to kind of compare, if you're down to, say, these two guys, uh, Dong Wan Park and Sung Tae Khan. Um, if you're down to those guys, you can really go and compare what pitcher they're facing to see, okay, well, this guy's facing a way worse pitcher. This makes that easy. Also helping things out a little bit, I've added the bat in order today as well. So it's going to show you, this is obviously connected to the project and starting lineups page, but um, it, like I said, is based off of last night's or the day before's lineup. So it kind of shows you where each player is hitting the lineup. So Dong Wan Park obviously hitting second in the lineup is a huge advantage over Han in terms of implied plate appearances per game, which is kind of what we're looking for, especially from a cash game perspective. I'll usually build in cash games and concentrate on one through five in the lineup. In GPPs, I like stretching out because that's what a lot of people do is one through five. So maybe like a three, four, five, six stack or even like an eight, nine, one, two wraparound stack. That's going to be a little bit lower on and something that I look to a little bit more for GPP. So I've got that for every single position. Something else that you'll see here, uh, except for the catcher and outfield tabs, is secondary position. 
So obviously we are in first base right now. So all these guys are first base on DraftKings, but they can be used at other positions. That's where this secondary position comes in, and then all the other information is still the same, and that is through second base, third base, shortstop, and outfield. So then we've got the legend. If you're wondering what my highlighted plays are, if you forget from the video, you can always come to this legend down here at the bottom. It's going to tell you what those plays are for. And then stadium information. So it shows each team, the name of their stadium, um, dimensions for the wall. So you can kind of compare that if that's something you're into. I'm going to have weather links here for every single stadium. Um, kind of general. The weather is going to be generally the same for all of them because they're all fairly close. But still, um, I, I've took it to each stadium, each postal code, I guess you could say, and got the weather link for each stadium in there. And all those links will be filled in very shortly. And then just their uh, Wikipedia link if you want to, you know, find more information about that park. So that concludes the Korean baseball tutorial video. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up in any of the chats. Um, that's Roto Pros. Get your free trial over at rotopros.com. DFSR, free trials over there as well. Or my Patreon page, that is www.patreon.com slash Jaegerbombs. You can get all my sheets on there as well. Thanks for watching the video. Hit me up with any questions and good luck out there.